So today we're monitoring a desert spring called North Wall Street Spring. Desert springs are important because they are one of the only sources of water for wildlife and plants in the desert. So you might go to a place like Joshua Tree and think that there's no life or wildlife or water, but you come to a small spring and you see that there is lots of wildlife, there's lots of activity, and that just shows how important these small sources of water are for preserving our plants and animals in our national parks. Mainly the reason we monitor all of these springs in Joshua Tree National Park and other national parks in the Mojave Desert Network is we're looking for long-term trends in water availability. So what we do when we monitor springs like this is we first search for water presence and then we go to where the source is designated and we find a water presence sensor that tells us when water was available at the spring. We download data from the sensor and then we characterize the vegetation, disturbance, and wildlife evidence at the spring. Today, our spring that we're monitoring doesn't have water, but it's still important to come here because ecosystems are dynamic and springs are dynamic. So things are gonna change over time. There's mud cracks where we have the source located, where we put the sensor. So there is water here um, seasonally. And our sensor, looking at the data preliminarily, shows that there is water here in the spring, primarily. What's influencing whether a spring is dry or wet could be rain that happened last week or last month, or it could be something longer term that influences this spring over a longer time scale, such as increased population using that water or climate change and drought. I enjoy doing this work because I think it really speaks to this higher calling of the Park Service mission and really serving to help protect these places that we really love. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> but we see a lot of beautiful things out here that a lot of people don't get to see. Uh, it can be hard work. We, we sleep in tents and it can get cold and hot and we walk lots of miles and that's not for everybody but when you get some place and you see something really special uh, it's, it feels worth it and it feels worth protecting uh, and desert springs are definitely worth protecting.